Let's talk about Sepley Drive Systems 250.30. And, and before we get into 250.30, let's take a look at the definition of what a Sepley Drive System is. A Sepley Drive System, let me just talk about it and then we can read the text. This is the primary winding and there's magnetic coupling between the primary winding and the secondary winding and that's a transformer and because there's no direct electrical connection between line one, line two, line three, in this case here, and the line the neutral and directly to any of the line conductors coming in, this is called a separately derived system. If that is the case, then we go with the rules of 250.30. Now let's read the actual definition. Separately derived system, if it's a transformer. An electrical source, which is the secondary winding, so this is other than the service, having no direct connection, none of the secondary conductors are connected to the primary conductors, no direct connection to the circuit conductor to any other source, other than those established by grounding and bonding, and I'd rather just pull out the, that, that bottom text, that doesn't serve a purpose at all. Doesn't mean anything here. All right, so if this is separately drive, and pretty much, guys, transformers are separately drive systems. So let's take a transformer, let's go here, and let's follow the rule, and it says, hey, first thing is, let's just understand what we're trying to accomplish in 250.30, because we talked about services, what we're trying to accomplish, we had the ground them, and we had the bond them. Well, generate, uh, separate drive systems, we have the ground them, and we have the bond them. So, you take your secondary system, and we're gonna ground it, and that ground connection goes from the system with the system bonding jumper, then we go over with the grounding electric conductor, and then we're making a connection to the earth, right? That grounds this winding, because the system is the winding. It also says bonding. Bonding to provide a path back to the power source to facilitate the open of the overcurrent device. So beside grounding this, we want to make sure that the secondary side is all bonded together and connected to the system. So this system bonding jumper is how we bond all those conductors and all those moving parts back over to the source. And if we have a proper bond or effective ground ball current path, then we can clear a fault.